Good morning, good morning. This is Bina, your online tutor. Hope you are having a great day today. Are you ready to read another story? Let's read Fifi's Bath. Fifi's Bath by Renee Carver. Hmm, I wonder what this story is all about. Who's Fifi? Who's giving the bath? Who's getting the bath? I see bubbles here. I see shampoo bottle. Hmm, let's find out what this story is all about. Fifi loves her bath, said Miss Glenn. She likes to take it in the big bathtub. Okay, Beth said she was a great dog sitter. How hard could it be to give one poodle a bath? Fifi only takes bubble baths, Miss Glenn said, and she loves her rose smelling shampoo. Okay, said Beth. She started to write down the directions. Miss Glenn described the rest of Fifi's bath. She said Fifi loved being wrapped up in a soft towel. She said Fifi would need her paw rubbed with special cream. The cream would keep them from getting dry. Miss Glenn turned off Fifi's special bath music and left. The music was a group of dogs barking a tune. Beth wished she had brought her special dog washing earplugs. <laughs> Beth followed all of Miss Glenn's directions. However, Fifi did not love her bath today. Fifi tried to bite the bubble bath bubbles. Fifi sneezed when Beth washed her fur with the rose smelling shampoo. Fifi tugged the soft towel out of Beth's hand. Then she tried to eat it. When Beth started to rub cream into Fifi's paws, Fifi ran out of the bathroom. Beth followed Fifi's paw prints all the way outside. There was Fifi. She was rolling over and over in the muddy grass. Soon her white curly fur was flat and brown and green. Beth really did not want to give Fifi another bath. Luckily for Beth, Fifi spotted the neighbor's sprinkler. Fifi jumped in and out of the spray of the water. Mud and grass washed off her coat. Then Fifi ran to Beth and sat at her feet. Fifi's fur was damp, but at least it wasn't dirty anymore. I guess We'll just tell Miss Glenn that you wanted a shower today, Beth said to Fifi, and Fifi barked in agreement and shook her fur dry. This one is a great story. I enjoyed reading this story. Hope you did too. How did Beth feel when she saw Fifi rolling in the mud? And why did Fifi need cream rubbed onto her paws? Hope you can answer these questions. Until next time, bye-bye.